air is fresh and the breeze is gently moving. Tropical temperatures warm the water and invites a joyful life. Our story begins at this dolphin pond in the middle of lovely nowhere. Here lives Lexi with his family, among other families who enjoy the warm and clear water of the pool. They typically swim in groups and enjoy their habitat. They don't really know another place, this has always been their space of experience. And this is Lexi. Lexi is a dreamer dolphin. Dreamer dolphins are a little bit different than their fellow dolphins. They are driven by their dreams and spirit towards something beyond themselves. Something which they first begin to understand later when they grow mature. Lexi is often swimming with a group of younger dolphins, which are his friends. Together they practice jumping out of the water and jump really high. For some reason Lexi seems to have the most talent. He jumps the highest of the group. Together they also explore all the corners of the pond. Now that they are a few years young, they have explored everything that there is to the pond. It isn't so big that it would take a whole lifetime to figure it out. Nobody seemed to care what's beyond the pond. According to the adult dolphins, no one was ever outside the pond since few generations. Lexi couldn't sit with this curiosity and his questions were always addressed with an apologize like Lexi, we don't know what there is, it's always been like that or Stop asking Lexi, how should we know this? Go out play with your friends and you lose your questions. But Lexi never lost his interest. All he knew was that the pond was impounded by a quite high wooden dam. He had once a dream that behind the dam is another water and it would lead away from the pond to something unknown. It was so exciting that he couldn't stop imagining what that unknown might be. While Lexi is excited, he is also very sad at times because the other dolphins are not interested in what Lexi has to say. So Lexi feels as an outsider, even like a hermit, most of the time. He can't stop thinking about his dreams and his passion to explore what there is more to the world. He always thinks this can't be everything to experience. Everyone seems to be okay with their daily life. But there is a calling in Lexi he doesn't understand. He knows his desire is to explore. So day in and day out he got more and more depressed, until he couldn't take it anymore. I have an idea, Lexi said. I'm going to practice so long the jumping until I'm able to jump over the dam and see what there is more to the world. Since I'm so depressed, it can't get worse. So why spend time burying and doing nothing? I will do anything that it would take to follow my dream. In the next early morning, Lexi decided to practice jumping even higher than before so that he might be able to move beyond the pond. So far, he doesn't know what's beyond it. It could be anything, but his feelings and dreams tell him that there is much more water to travel. The other younger dolphins saw what Lexi is doing. They swam to him and observed his jumping. They began to laugh and say, Oh God, Lexi, what are you doing? You are not seriously trying to jump over the dam? Lexi said, Oh yes, I can't hold back anymore. I have to do this. Another dolphin said, Oh come on everybody. Look at this silly dolphin, he's trying to be better than us, probably we are not good enough anymore and he wants to find another group. Lexi answered, no, please stop laughing, I'm just practicing to jump and follow what feels right for me. Another dolphin began to advise Lexi, but Lexi, you have no idea what you're doing, nobody knows what's beyond the dam. The humans have put us here since few generations. You know, those evil humans. You might see outside even more humans. And they will do you harm. You can't trust them. Lexi got distracted. So distracted and discouraged by the talking that he couldn't proceed. He was jumping lower and lower. What if they are right? Lexi began to think. What if I'm just a stupid dreamer? A fellow dolphin said, Yes, see Lexi, we told you it doesn't work. Don't try to be more special than anyone else. Lexi stumbled, but uh, I'm, I'm not... Okay, maybe it's better to stop. 
the dolphins swam back and Lexi followed them, swimming very slowly and depressed, thinking about what's now real or not. Is it really possible to move beyond this pond or am I just crazy? He became very tired and decided to sink to the ground and have a rest. He became so tired that he began to sleep in. And what happened then? He had that very same dream he had before and it felt so real. It was in that moment as obvious as a knowing, a knowing deeper than just listening to what anybody else could say. He dreamed again about the dam and how there was something beyond it. He woke up from his nap and he felt so fresh again, like in the early morning before he trained to jump over the dam. He was though still internally fighting with himself. Should I follow this dream or should I listen to what everybody else says? After a while, he couldn't stand the tension himself and in that moment a kingfisher passed Lexi. Kingfisher were not common at all in this area, so he took Lexi by surprise. Lexi looked out of the water and the bird landed on his nose. Don't be discouraged, Lexi. They just repeat what they've been taught. Be a free spirit unto yourself. And then the bird flew again away. For a moment, Lexi was shocked. It felt very strange, but so real, that he wanted to follow now what felt to be so true to him. Lexi thought immediately about his dream and started now swimming very fast towards the dam. He felt so fresh, energized and encouraged. Lexi said to himself, I haven't felt so much energy for a long time, maybe the last time when I was a baby dolphin and exploring the pond. He was moving faster and faster towards the dam. He shoots out of the water in an amazing speed that surprised himself. And what happened? He made it! He moved higher above the dam than ever before. He was shooting just straight over it. He was afraid of the height he had gotten to and he fell rapidly on the other side of the dam. And how lucky he is! It is true! There is water! How in the world did I do this? thought Lexi. I haven't trained more, but still it happened. I just felt very good about it. Is that maybe what has helped it? There is no pond anymore, the water has now become a river. This is the first time for Lexi to see something like this. Oh, and what are these strange animals doing here? Sometimes they swim in the shape of a heart. It was a new world to Lexi, very different to the pond, no single dolphin here, only Lexi. Lexi splashed in the water and it was a bit different. It was green water. Normally, the water he was used to was blue. Oh boy! Does Lexi enjoy that new space in which he has never ever been before? It's so different than the pond! Lexi, feeling so grateful, he took a pause to just bath in the sun rays. What an unusual place I've gotten to, he thought. Now again, the same kingfisher appeared on Lexi to speak with him. Watch out, Lexi, this is a tough part of your adventure. You have to pass this river in order to go to the infinite pond. Rivers are different than ponds. You have to watch out. Dangerous? Infinite pond? What are you talking about? Lexi said. Be careful. Not everybody wants to help you and transitions can be a bit rough. But it will help you to trust into yourself. Don't forget to enjoy their ride, Lexi. The bird flew away before Lexi could start talking back. What does this all mean? He thought. Lexi began to explore the river and have some fun. He was doing loopings in the water, jumping out of the water and everything he enjoyed to do. Oh what joy this was! Suddenly Lexi had a strange hunch in the stomach, he felt almost sick. Wait, something doesn't feel alright, he said. From near him, 
He heard strange deep buzzing noises and he felt watched by many eyes. Suddenly Lexi noticed there are other very strange looking beings. Oh oh, what is this? The other beings watched Lexi for some time. They were crocodiles. Lexi has never seen crocodiles, but he immediately knew they were up to no good. Lexi was shocked and he never experienced fear as intense as in this moment. He wanted to jump outside his body. He was afraid of their big teeth and he was very aware of how dangerous and big those crocodiles are. They are even armored. The crocodiles being very hungry suddenly decided to make the move. Crocodiles, bring this dolphin if you don't want to stay hungry. Get it. What the heck is happening? Why do they want to eat me? I'm not yummy at all. Lexi screams and swims now as fast as he can down the river. But there are so many crocodiles, he even can't count them. Lexi is all alone. The crocodiles are old and experienced with hunting other animals. From all sides they now started to hunt Lexi across the river and Lexi swam for his very life. Lexi loses his hope, he's surrounded and he can't watch into all directions at once. The fastest crocodile of the group could now come close to Lexi and take a bite into Lexi's side. He hit Lexi with his big teeth in the side and Lexi was under great shock. Mobilizing his last energy, Lexi managed to escape the jaws of the crocodile. He swam even faster than, than before, but he was losing his power. He swam quickly downstream, having created a great distance. He has left the crocodiles behind and they gave up. But Lexi lost a lot of blood and he became weaker and weaker. So weak that he was dropping unconscious. Lexi was sure he is dying. Lexi feels his body only very lightly, almost as light as a cloud. He began deep, deep dreaming. We are your family, Lexi. We are the ancestors of the dolphin spirit. Your journey has taken you far and we are proud of you. We have watched you since your time as a baby dolphin. We watch all our family with love and awareness from spirit. Your journey on the earth has not yet finished, but we will tell you that your home are the stars of your inner world. You have moved beyond your fears and we congratulate you for taking these steps. Earth is a tough adventure, but beyond what you are able to see, it is all a beautiful dream you birth from your hearts into experience. We will leave you now with this memory. When you wake up, you will know that you belong. Where am I? Oh, it's so hot in the sun. I need to get back into the water. What are these human children doing here? Wait, they've kept me moist all the time while I was unconscious? Those humans are maybe not so bad at all like my family says. I know you don't understand my language, but thank you so much. Goodbye kids, I need to go quickly into the deep cool water. Lexi bid farewell to the children and moved on. Suddenly he realized he reached the infinite pond. The infinite pond the bird was talking about. There is a strong knowing in Lexi that there is much more for him to explore. More than he could ever figure out in one single lifetime. 